estimated 5,000 people sporting signs and red armbands of support attended the rally on Upper Sproul Plaza on September 24th. The demonstrators marched and flooded the streets cheering, Whose University? Our University, and Lay Off Udoff. Students, faculty, and staff alike have come together in defense of public education in the state of California. Because budget cuts will inevitably continue to impact all facets of the university, this united force is taking part in a historic UC system-wide walkout to protest faculty layoffs, increased tuitions, and privatization of the UC system. UC President Udoff proposed a 32% increase in student fees over the course of the next year, which would raise tuition to over $10,000 for the first time in UC history. A terrible, terrible job. And it's, I think that's why he was brought here. I think he was brought in by the Regents and paid more than twice his predecessor's salary for specifically this purpose. He did it at Texas, where he was president before he came here, and he did it at the university he worked at before that. So he's basically a public university privatization specialist, and that's why he's here. I think it's a disgrace. I'm an undergrad transfer. It's my first semester here. This is my daughter, Michaela. Hi. Because I think everything that's going on is ridiculous. I, uh, I'm a low-income student, I'm a single mom, and my education is not just for me, it's my daughter's future too. If the fees are increased that high, I'm going to have a hard time coming back next fall. Students, faculty, and staff joined together to present a collective and united front as a show of solidarity in defense of public education. Speakers encouraged the community as a whole to fight the budget cuts and voice their demands, which included full disclosure of the UC budget in an attempt to uphold the institution's honorable reputation. I only want to say that this is unprecedented in the history of the UC system. We have unions, we have workers, we have laid off people, we have undergraduates, we have grad students, we have faculty. This is the beginning of what I would like to think of as the free education movement. A smaller assembly followed later that day where students planned the steps for the future. The fee increases are not okay, the budget cuts are not okay, and it's clear that students will be the losers in this situation. Faculty are being laid off, workers are being laid off, obviously we need to do something, and all this energy that has been put into this day, September 24th, the walkout, needs to continue. You know, the efforts cannot end today. We need to talk about September 25th, 6th, and 7th. UC President Mark Udoff has remained supportive of the upcoming increase in student fees, which he deems necessary in order to preserve the university system in the long run. He denounced the state government as unreliable and dysfunctional, stating that in the harsh reality that is today's economy, the worst is yet to come, and the university system will not come out of this easily. Therefore, he proposes a two-year budget to stabilize the situation before building the UC system back up again. He remains confident that the University of California will eventually surmount these challenges, emerging stronger and more accessible, with both quality and faculty preserved. The reaction to the walkout will definitely be interesting. For more information, please visit www.ucstudentwalkout.com. Reporting for Cal TV, I'm Lily Allen Gordon.